This holiday season, I decided that we would go through the 12 days of Christmas as our December devotional. And I thought it'd be fun to do this for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's a fun song, right? It's a fun song, and we all like to sing it at Christmas time. Most of us sing Frederick Austin's version, which was written in 1909. And we typically sing it the whole month through. But the 12 days of Christmas actually refers to Epiphany. And that would be the 12 days that follow Christmas. So beginning on Christmas Day and going for 12 more days, you arrive at Epiphany, where the Catholic Church traditionally uh, celebrates the arrival of the wise men or the three kings. And so we are asking, could the 12 days of Christmas also represent the things that we believe? Are there things in here about our theology? Now we're on day five. Day five is everybody's favorite, five golden rings. It certainly does seem important. It breaks the uh, gift giving between birds and birds, <laughs> right? So what could the five golden rings represent? Well, the five golden rings represent the first five books of the Bible. This would be called the Law or the Torah. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. So why would the first five books be referred to as golden rings? Well, because these books tell the history of the beginning of God's relationship with us and the beginning of his relationship with Israel. And it also represents the first covenant. Remember, I said the first five books are sometimes referred to as the law. And when we think of a law, we typically think of a upper and lower relationship. A law is given and the lawgiver says, if you do this, I do that. But five golden rings also sounds like a wedding ring. And it reminds us of a different type of covenant, a promise and a covenant that's made in love. You know, before God ever gives these books to the people, or before he ever calls them to obedience, he is already doing the things that he promises to do. In other words, God acts first. He shows his love and care long before the people ever commit to following him, and that's the way it is with God's grace. And because God has already chosen the people and blessed the nation, they can live in faithful obedience outlined in the first five books, calling us a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. Merry Christmas.